Now, when we speak about poverty in our region, we sometimes think perhaps of families struggling to put food on the table or to pay for heating to keep warm. There is another problem that's not openly spoken about. It affects many women and girls. We're talking about something called period poverty, and it means many women are having to choose between buying sanitary products or eating. Samantha Parker has been to see how one group is trying to help them and to end the stigma. Period poverty. It exists and it exists here in our region. Women and girls forced to decide between hygiene or food. Here in Carlisle, boxes being filled with sanitary products. They will soon be making their way to drop-off points across the city and in Eden. Ladies will be able to discreetly take them if and when the need arises. When I first heard of it, I thought oh, it's an overseas issue. I'm sure everybody is OK over here. It just never entered my head that this was a problem and people needed support. Um, so it was a real shock. And then so I started speaking to colleagues. And I think when we realised um, the impact that the food banks were having and the rise in those, we worked out quite clearly that if there was um, an issue with accessing food for your family, then you certainly need access to donated or free sanitary products. There are women and girls right across Cumbria who are having to make the choice between food or going to school and sanitary products. So I'm just going to pop into this pharmacy here to find out just how much they cost. Well, I've got a month's supply here and that came to a little over £10. So over the course of a year, that's £120 just on essential items. But for some, that's a price they just can't afford. For others, their living situation can make it hard to ask for the tampons and sanitary products they need. It's also going to start allowing young people to talk about it more and kind of get rid of the shame factor that is surrounded by it because you know, it's, it happens and people, young people feel ashamed, but they shouldn't do. And hopefully it'll, people will be able to talk about it without having um, the stigma around it that it is, you know, oh, it's not very nice. Thanks to a £3,000 grant from the County Council, period Poverty North Cumbria can now increase the number of places they have boxes to 56 across Carlisle and Eden. Similar schemes run in other parts of the county. At Brockbank Solicitors in Cockermouth, they support the Red Box Appeal for clients and staff to donate items. They are then distributed to primary and secondary schools in West Cumbria. I don't think there is enough awareness uh, that there is an issue. Until I heard more about this project, I didn't know that these things happened in our area or in fact nationwide. And then when you start actually looking at the figures and how many of of our children are affected by it for whatever reason, then it's, well, it's appalling. Period poverty is something that's happening in Cumbria, and these women are trying to stop it being an embarrassing and taboo subject, while also making life at a certain time each month a lot more comfortable for those without access to sanitary products. Samantha Parker, ITV News.